Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be continuing on with our Caltrain train here, and we already did the locomotive in yesterday's video if you still need to build that. And today we're going to be learning how to build these Bombardier bi-level coach cars here. And this is what it looks like. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how to modify one into the cab car for the back of the train here. So let's get right into the build. So as usual, we'll start off with the coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up to the locomotive. Under it, put a sideways dark oak vent gate. Then on the next block forward on the bottom, we're going to put five polished deep slate stairs coming across, facing forward. Then, we're going to skip two empty blocks of space behind this, and on the third block out, we're going to put a vent gate on each rail, so there's two blocks of space there. In front of that, We'll do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we'll do a 3x3 of polished deep slate slabs on this upper hip box, and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on this wheel and this wheel only. Then on these slabs, put three fence gates and open the outer two. Same thing here, three fence gates, open the outer two. Then come above these stairs and go five wide with smooth quartz block. Then on this edge, we're going to put a polished deep slate slab on each upper hip box. Then an upside down polished deep slate stair here and here. Then on this top middle, we're going to fill it three wide with black stone brick block and bring it forward till it's over this wheel here. So we should have something that looks like this now. Then we're going to come on this inner wheel and put an upside down smooth cord stair facing the end of the car. And same thing on this side. Then we'll put a red concrete above it and over here. Then a smooth cord block here and here. And then up here another upside down stair facing the end of the car on each side. And finally four smooth cord slabs across the top here and four across the top here. Then we're going to come down in front of this on the bottom outside edge on each side and we'll put a smooth quartz here and here. Then we'll do two red concrete on each side. Then two upside down red nether brick stairs here and two here. Inside the middle of this we're going to put five gray concrete above each rail and then in the center five cyan terracotta. Then we'll come back in the middle with cyan terracotta again here and do another line of cyan ter terracotta down the center and that's going to be another 18 blocks long in total past the end of that. And then 18 gray concrete on this rail and 18 gray concrete on this rail. Then on the outer edge here we'll do 18 red concrete. And same thing on this side, 18 red concrete down to the end over here. Then we'll do two upside down red nether brick stairs on either side, then two red concrete on either side, and then a single smooth quartz on either side. Then we'll extend our gray concrete down each side and our cyan terracotta down the middle to the end of this. Then in front of this, we'll put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box in the middle, a 3x3 three three of polished deep slate slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on this outer wheel and on this one. Then on these slabs, three fence gates and open the outer two. And same thing on this side here. Then we're going to leave two empty blocks of space behind these wheels and on the third block out, we're going to put five polished deep slate stairs coming across facing this way. So there's two empty blocks of space in there. Above these stairs put five smooth quartz. Then come here in the middle and get a dark oak stair on the top middle for the coupler and under it we're going to put a fence gate sideways. Then down here we're going to put a polished deep slate slab here and on this side. Then an upside down outward facing polished deep slate stair on either side. 
to take black stone brick on this top middle and go three wide with it. And we're going to bring it forward until it's over this inner set of wheels right here. Then on this wheel, we're going to put an upside down smooth court stair here facing the end and one on this side facing the end. Then put a red concrete above this stair and this one. Then a smooth quartz block here and here. Then another upside down stair facing the end here and here. And finally, put smooth quartz slabs across here and across here. So it looks like that. Now come in this corner, put a red concrete here and here, then two smooth quartz on either side. Come over here and copy it on this side, so a red concrete here and here, then two smooth quartz here and here. Then we'll put two doors on here, two doors on these stairs, and copy it on this side. So two doors here, and then two doors here. In between the doors, we're going to do a full row of smooth quartz on this bottom outside edge to the other door. And then same thing on this side, a full row of smooth quartz right here. Next, we're going to come down to the end of the car here. And we'll put five smooth quartz across the end. Then copy it down on the other end, so five smooth quartz across this end. And actually, we're going to change the outer block on each side to red concrete. That was wrong. So change this one and this one to red concrete on each side. And then bring it down to here. And then red concrete starting from this end and bring it to here. Then four smooth quartz across here and four on this side. Then we'll rinse and repeat at the other end. So change this to red concrete and this to red concrete. Then bring red all the way over to here. And then same thing on this side. Then four smooth cords here, four smooth cords here. Then next to the door here on each side, we'll do a line of three smooth cords here and here. Then we're gonna do two black stained glass panes, skip one, two, skip one, two, skip one and two, so there's four windows. Put a smooth quartz between them all, and then smooth quartz across here to this door. Then come to this side and copy your pattern of smooth quartz directly across to this side, and then fill in all four of the windows with black stained glass panes. Then we'll come up here and do a line of cyan terracotta over the middle of this, and then a line of gray concrete on each side covering that polished black stone section. Same thing here, cyan terracotta down the middle up here, and gray concrete on either side. Then we're gonna come on the end of the car, and we're gonna put a birch door in the middle, and a two by two of smooth quartz on either side of it. And of course, we do the same thing at the other end. So a door in the middle, and a two by two of smooth quartz on either side. Then above it, we'll do a line of five smooth cords coming across. And same thing at this end, do five smooth cords coming across the top right here. Then we're gonna come on this outside edge here, start at one end, and we're gonna do a full line of smooth cords coming all the way down across the top of these windows and right down to the other end of the car. And then same thing on this side, on this outer edge, a full line of smooth cords coming all the way across, going end to end on this side as well. Just like that. Now we're gonna come next to this door, put a warp button here and a mangrove button here. Same thing on this door. Then we get the other side. So a warp button on one side, a mangrove button on the other. And then same thing here. Then we're gonna come to this end and we're gonna put the logo on. So right here, we're gonna change this block to a redstone block, put a birch sign on it, and to the left of it, a dark oak sign. Then we'll copy it at this end down here. So take out this one, put in redstone, on it, a birch sign, and to the left of it, a dark oak sign. Then we're gonna come on this top corner with black stained glass panes. 
and we'll do two stained glass panes. Skip one and two, skip one and one. Copy it directly across to this side. Then put a smooth quartz block and all the gaps between them here. Then we'll repeat it at this end. So take black stained glass pane down here. And on each side, we're gonna do two, skip one, two, skip one and one. Then smooth quartz in between all of them. And then across here, do a full line of smooth quartz blocks going end to end up here. And then same thing over here, a full line of smooth quartz blocks going end to end on this side as well. Then we'll come on top and start at this end. Do a full line of smooth quartz above the windows going all the way end to end. And that same thing over here. A full line of smooth quartz blocks here going all the way end to end. Just like that. Now we'll come on top with red concrete and we'll come five across the end here. And then we're gonna go all the way end to end down the top of this side. And then come across this end. And same thing over here. We're gonna go end to end up here with red concrete. Then we're gonna come on top of the end and we're gonna put two black stone brick slabs on either side. Then two rows of three smooth quartz slabs across the middle here. And then we'll repeat it at this end. So we'll put two black stone brick slabs on either side and two rows of three smooth quartz slabs across the middle here. Then we'll switch to red concrete in front of these slabs. And we're gonna go five wide and three long with red concrete right here. And then repeat it at this end, right in front of these slabs, three long and five wide with red concrete right here. Then on top of this, three black carpet on either side and fill the middle with white carpet. Then we repeat at this end. So three black carpet on either side and fill the middle with white carpet here. Then there are some little bents on the sides and they're actually asymmetrical here. So on top of each side here, we're gonna do a single black stone brick wall, then two red concrete on each side. Then at this end, we're gonna do two walls and then one red concrete on each side. Then on top of this, facing the end, a black stone brick stair on either side three smooth quartz stairs in the middle. Then on this section, we're gonna fill the middle with smooth quartz slabs, and we need two black stone brick slabs on each outer edge here. So it looks like that. Then we'll repeat it at this end. So start here, do two black stone brick slabs on each side, fill the middle with smooth quartz slabs, then a black stone brick stair facing this end on each side and three smooth quartz stairs in the center here. Now we're gonna line up with the windows on bottom and put two block wide black stained glass pane windows directly aligned with the bottom windows. Then extend that pattern down to this end with a block of space between each one and two block wide windows. And same thing over here, extend that window pattern down to this side with a block of space between each one. Then come across to this side and just copy that window pattern directly across on this side so they all line up with each other. Then we'll go through and put a single red concrete between all of the spaces in between the windows on each side. Then we're gonna come above the windows on this top outside edge and do a full line of red concrete going end to end up here above the windows, right down to this end. And then same thing on this side, a full 
line of red concrete on top over here as well. Then on this top outside edge, we're going to do a full line of black carpet end to end on top of this red concrete. And then same thing over here, a full line of black carpet end to end up here on top of the red concrete. Just like that. Now we'll come down on the end of the car and we're going to put two oak buttons down here, two on this side. Then under the door, three iron trap doors in the center. Then take deep slate brick wall, come up each side, three across the top above the door, and a redstone torch on each top corner. Then we repeat for this end. So two buttons here, two here, three trap doors under the door, then two walls on either side, three across the top, and a redstone torch here and here. Now we need to make a banner, so we're gonna come into a loom with a white banner and red dye. Make the top half red, then put a black horizontal line on the center. Then we'll come up here and we'll place these. And we're gonna start right on this corner here, and we're just gonna do a full line of these banners all the way across the top here. So we get that black pinstripe on. And we're gonna bring it right down to this end here. Then up here, we'll put three of these right here in the center. And that same thing on this side, start in this corner, and we'll do a full line of these banners all the way across this side of the car so we get the black pinstripe on this side. And then finally, three on this top middle right here. And now the exterior of the car is done. Now we'll come and do the interior. So we're gonna come down in this left-hand corner and do a two by two of smooth quartz right here. Then an end portal on the left, a torch above it, and a door here. Then a two by two of smooth quartz in the middle. And back here, we'll use polished deep slate stairs to make a staircase coming down right here. On the other end, slightly different. In this left corner, we're gonna do a two by two by two of smooth quartz. Then on this side, use polished deep slate stairs to make a staircase coming down right here. Next, we're gonna come in front of these doors on each side, and we're gonna put a column of four glass panes coming up on either side here. Then repeat at this end, so come in front of these doors and put a column of four glass panes on either side. Then we'll take polished deep slate stairs, put two inward facing here, two here. Then we'll skip a block, turn this way, and we're gonna put a stair every other block coming down each side for the seats. And I use polished deep slate here, but you can use whatever color stair you want. Then we're gonna come up on here, turn this way, put two smooth cords here, one here, and then two stairs coming up here, and another two smooth cords here. Then up here, we'll put three smooth cords on the side, and then one more stair right here. Then on all three of these top stairs, we're gonna close a trap door on the side for the handrail. Then we'll do the other end, so come down here. Do some smooth cords in a pattern like this. And then two rows of three smooth cords over here, and three stairs going up this way. Then another three smooth cords right here. Then take trap doors again and close one on the side of all three of these top stairs for the railing. Now we're gonna come down under this other end where it sticks out. And we're gonna put two upside down smooth cord stairs under there. Then we're gonna come on top in front of these glass panes. And up here, we're gonna put a full row of sideways end rods coming across to the glass panes on the other end to light up the car. And then we'll do the same thing on this side so it's symmetrical in between the two sets of glass panes up here, do a full row of sideways end rods. Then we'll work on our mid deck so we're gonna come up here on this mid deck. And on this side here, we're gonna do a column of smooth cords between these windows, going from floor up to the top. And we're gonna to come across
across here with smooth quartz and across right here so there's a little roof then right here we'll do the seats in here so stair here and here another one here and here then turn around and one here and here then if you want to light the mid deck we can put three end rods across here then we'll do the mid deck at the other end so we'll come down here between these windows again and do a column of smooth quartz up to the top and then two rows across the roof right here then come in here and we'll put a stair here and here here and here then turn around one here and here then we'll put a table on each side so an end rod here and here with a trap door on top of each one and I forgot it at that end so let's go do that down here so we'll put an end rod here and here with a trap door on each one here now we're gonna come on top here with cyan terracotta and come off this stair and come right down the middle to the stair at the other end then on the side do a line of gray concrete right here and we'll bring it down until you're stopping right here and then same thing on this side start right here with gray concrete and bring it down to this end and stop right here then we're gonna come here and take smooth quartz block and we're gonna put two here one here Then we'll do the other end, so come down on this corner. On this end, we're gonna put three here and one here. Then we'll start right here, and we're gonna put a stair on either side, every other block for the seats. And I'm realizing in the edit here, I used the wrong colored stairs. These should be polished deep slate or whatever stair color you used on bottom. And we'll bring it down to right here. Then right here, we'll put a temporary block we're gonna close the trap door on it so there's a railing right there then take out the temporary block then up here we're gonna put three upside down smooth court stairs here and come to this end and three here then we'll go to smooth courts blocks and we're gonna go three wide on this top middle and we're gonna fill this whole roof in with smooth quartz all the way down to the other end so it's sealed in. Then we're gonna come on this top middle again and we're gonna fill this whole top three wide with white carpet going end to end on this top roof section here. So just keep it coming here. other end so that completes the build for the single bombardier bi-level coach car on our caltrain here so what we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just straight build as many of these cars as you want on your train I've just done three here to save time in the video and now I'll show you how to modify the last one into the cap car. So we're going to come to this last car. And we're going to come on bottom down here. And we're going to take off all five of these polished deep slate stairs. And we're going to replace them with three black stone brick stairs in the middle. Then an upside down black stone brick stair facing outward on either side. Then we're gonna come on this next layer and knock out all five of these smooth quartz. And we're gonna replace those with upside down, forward facing, black stone brick stairs coming across here. Then we'll do the cap windows. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna knock out this two by two of blocks. And fill it with black stained glass block. Same thing on this side, knock out this 2x2 two two of blocks and fill it with black stained glass block. Then we're going to come up here, take out this middle banner, put
put a glow item frame with a frog light. Then come on top, take out these two slabs, and up here we're gonna put a bell, and then open a fence gate for the horn. Then we'll take off this redstone torch, and we're gonna put a dark oak sign there with the number 116. And then same thing on this side, change this to a dark oak sign with 116, and hit them both with white dye and a glow ink sack each. Then we're gonna come on the side of this window, put a white banner here, and one on this side. Next, we need to make some banners, so we're gonna come into a loom with a light gray banner and white dye. We're gonna do this diagonal, and then put white in each of the opposite corners like this. Then we'll do a new banner, do the opposite diagonal, and then put white in each of these opposite corners, like that. Then we'll come and place these. So we're gonna come up here on the side, and we're gonna put this one here and the opposite one here. Then we'll take a skeleton skull and we're gonna put one on this bottom corner here and one on this bottom corner here. And now we'll start working on the interior, so come through this door. And on this left hand side we're gonna take out this stair, this table, and this stair. Right here we're gonna do a column of smooth quartz coming up to the top. Then we'll take out this end rod and two smooth quartz up here. Then we'll put a driver's seat here with a stair, then a lever here. And then I put these computer screens up here, but we actually don't need to put those on yet. Then we're gonna turn this way and put a birch door here and an iron door here for the wall. And see, I had to fill in this hole, so that's why I couldn't do these item frames yet. So we need to take these back off and we'll put two smooth quartz in here temporarily and we're going to close two birch trap doors on them. Then we can come inside this cab and take those two temporary blocks back out and then put on our two glow item frames with egg crystals up here. Now the operator's cab's done so the interior is all finished and that completes the cab car here. So there we have it, folks. We finally completed our Caltrain Bombardier bi-level coach and cap cars. So this completes our full Caltrain build. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.